Hello, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Mike Salmon here from Harvest Christian Fellowship. Today I want to talk to you about a very, very important subject, a subject that I think that you should really take to heart and really come to um, really inspect and analyze. This, this here, October, is what we call Member Loss Month. Member Loss Month. And why we call that is because during this month, we get very serious about certain subjects. And one of those subjects that I want to talk about today is Halloween. Why Christians should not celebrate Halloween. Now, I'm sure many, maybe yourself, and, and you've known many Christians who've been raised celebrating Halloween, and they're like, hey, Pastor, what's wrong with dressing up? What's wrong with going out there and collecting candy? What's wrong? There's just an innocent holiday. It's an innocent, it's something that kids love. They enjoy, they go out there, they, they, you know, they have uh, games or parties or what about trunk and treat? Is that okay? I mean, uh, what about uh, having Halloween, uh, just something at the church? Okay. So it's not really going out there or doing, uh, you know, crazy things like that or whatever. We're not worshiping Satan. We're just handing out candy to kids or we're just collecting candy. We're just dressing up. We're having a little costume party. It's just a fun thing. There's no evil in it or anything like that. Okay. So I've heard this before. So let me just say this. There is scripture. I want to kind of go across with you and I, I want you to just take a moment, just, just a moment to entertain me and just understand just certain things. I just want you to entertain me just for a moment because I really want you to think about this. Okay. I, re I really do want you to think about this. Let me bring out the scriptures. And first Corinthians chapter eight, it says this. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Okay. Let me see here a second. There we go. We all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but charity edifies, okay? And if any man thinks that he knows anything, he knows nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world and that there is no other God but one. For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many, but to us there is but one, God the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. Okay, so what the, what the Apostle Paul is saying here is, look, as of... As of us sitting down and eating meat, okay, when we say the offer to sacrifice unto idols, okay, this sacrifice that we're going to eat, an idol is nothing. We know. We're not stupid. It's just, look, there's, there's only one God, okay? These idols, they're nothing. This meat that's offered to idols, it's nothing. It's still meat. There's nothing wrong with the meat that we're eating. There's nothing wrong with, there's no power in an idol. They can say, oh, we give the idol. It doesn't matter. There's no, the idol has no power, okay? The meat is just meat. There's nothing wrong with sitting down and eating meat. Eating, the, eating meat is not a sin. Um, eating meat that's offered to idols uh, is not a sin. Like you're sitting there, you're eating it. You don't know. You don't know that's offered to idols. You're just eating it. It's still meat. Okay? We don't know. You don't know. Okay? So you're sitting there eating meat and you're saying, it's, we know that it's nothing. Okay? I mean, same thing. We can say the same thing about, about Halloween. Dressing up in costumes, it's not going to send us to hell. I mean, we dress up in costumes when we do plays and drama and stuff like that. And Dressing up and, and getting candy and giving people candy and getting candy, that's not a sin. Okay, and saying trick-or-treat is not a sin. Okay, the, all these things are not a sin in and of themselves. Separate, dressing up as in a costume is not a sin. 
Eating candy and is not a sin. Giving people candy is not a sin. Receiving candy is not a sin. Saying trick or treat is not a sin. Okay, these are all not sins independent of themselves. An idol is an idol. It has no power. Meat is just meat. You sitting and eating the meat in and in of itself has nothing. Okay, it's nothing. All right. Now, let's go on. And then he goes, how bit there is not every man that has this knowledge. For some with conscience of, an, of the idol unto this hour eat as a thing offered unto an idol and their conscience being weak is defiled. So in other words, to you, it's fun. But to other people, this is not something that is fun. This is something that they really worship. This is something that they celebrate. Halloween is a, an actual holiday where witches and sorcerers and the uh, satanic, they actually celebrate this ho this holiday. So to you sitting down and, and you dressing up and in and of itself is separate is no big deal. But when you're celebrating it on that day that the that the Satanists and the witches and sorcerers celebrate it and they're doing all that, guess what? What are you celebrating? What are you, what are you actually participating? He's saying, not everyone has that. There are people who actually eat these things. He says, but me, commend us not to God. For neither if we eat, are we better? Neither if we don't eat, are we worse? In other words, look, if I dress up and I go get candy, I'm not going to, it's not going to send me to hell. If I go out and I don't get candy, it's not going to send me to heaven. Okay. Either way, I'm not going to go to heaven or hell if I dress up and get candy, or if I dress up and don't get candy. Okay, it's not going it, to. The getting can dressing up and getting candy is not going to send you to hell. Getting dressed up and get not getting candy is not going to send you to heaven. All right, but take heed. Okay, take heed. He says here. Okay. Take heed. In other words. Look, look at this. Behold, beware, lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. OK, so. So if you go out there and you celebrate Halloween, you may be strong and like it's only a costume. It's only candy. It's only whatever it is. But to the weak brother or to a non-believer who sees you as a Christian going out there celebrating Halloween, you become a stumbling block. That is a stub and offense. You become an occasion of apostasy where people go, I thought he's a Christian. How are they celebrating this dark holiday? Ha Halloween's ha ha dark. I mean, going to Walmart, death and 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 tombstones and goblins and ghosts. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to see that is horror. I mean, horror movies and Friday Thirteen. You become a stumbling block to them that are weak. Okay, for if any man sees you, all right, if anyone sees you which doesn't have knowledge, sit at meat in the idol's temple. Shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols. In other words, if someone who's weak or a non-believer sees you out there trick-or-treating and dressing up and to and will you they not look at you and go, well, I thought I thought Christianity's holy. I thought Christians aren't supposed to celebrate darkness and death and evil and all this stuff. You become what if it's a weak Christian who's looking at you who may who may have problems with sorcery or witchcraft or or maybe plagued with demonic or or nightmares and all whatever it is. And how can how can Christians talk, go dress up and celebrate haunted houses and go to haunted house celebrate these things? Now is haunted houses or horror movies evil like oh my gosh you're going to go to hell? No, but if you go and you're taking and you're weak and you're celebrating on that day, on that holiday, we're going to go and celebrate Halloween for that. You can make you create a stumbling block. You create something to people that can make them weak and that can make them feel like this is permissible, okay? He says, "And through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Christ died and through thy knowledge shall thy weak brother perish for whom Christ in other words he goes he goes when you when you 
feel like, oh, well, I'm big and I'm going to go celebrate. I'm going to do these things. It's no big deal. Let me ask you a question. Your liberty or your knowledge, I mean, do you understand that you are you are making it worse? Like you created a stumbling block. What about for your kids? Oh, it's my kids. They just have fun. What are you portraying to your kids? Stay away from evil. Have nothing to do with demonic. Have nothing to do with evil. The devil, Satan. I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you, Satan. And then on October 31st, it's something else. Let's get dressed up and let's go walk around saying happy or, or, or trick or treat and getting candy and giving candy and celebrating a holiday that's nothing but darkness. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Not for Christians. But when you sin so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Christ. So because of your sin, because of your, oh, I have liberty and I'm not going to go to hell if I go celebrate Halloween. But do you understand that your celebration of Halloween can stumbles your children? It, it gives confusing messages and conflictions, conflicts to the world and to yourself that you are a Christian, a child of light, not of darkness. This is why they trick-or-treat at night, uh, ghouls and goblins and witchcraft and spiders and webs and and tombstones. This is a dark holiday. Do you not understand that you sin against Christ when you give this conflicting message that it's okay? Wherefore, if meat make thy brother offend, I will not eat flesh while the world stands, lest I make my brother to offend. In other words, I'm not going to cause my brother to, to fall. I'm going to stand up for the Lord. I'm going to stand up and I'm not going to have nothing to do with darkness. Okay, again, listen, the, the Apostle Paul says, look, meat is not the sin. The issue is not about the meat. The idol is not the issue here. You sitting down and eating meat that's offered to idols is not an issue here. This is not an issue. What the issue is, the message you portray to people around you when they look at you and say, this guy celebrates a holiday that is of darkness. They celebrate a holiday of wickedness. They celebrate a holiday that exalts and glorifies evil, Satan, demonic. This is a holiday where witches celebrate. Look it up. Witches, this is the witches' high holiday. OK, and they celebrate this day for witchcraft. H Halloween, Halloween is surrounded around nothing but darkness, evil, fear, all these things. Is this what Christians are supposed to celebrate and say, oh, well, it's just fun. It's just fun. Here's another another part of this. Um, I want to bring out here in chapter 10. Moreover, brethren. OK, I would not want you that you be ignorant how that that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same. Uh, sorry, did all drink the same spiritual drink and they drank the spiritual rock, which was Christ. But many of them, God was not at all pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. In other words, he's saying, I'm giving you a warning, guys. He's, here's the warning. He says, look, here's a warning. Not everyone who got out of Egypt. See, God brought a lot of people out of Egypt. They went through the sea. They ate the same bread. They got the same water. They drank. They walked in the wilderness. They were under the cloud by day and under a fire by night. God was around them everywhere. And he says, but not everyone who was who came out of Egypt, not everyone who had the cloud, not everyone who had fire, God was pleased with. And instead, he overthrew them in the wilderness. And the word here, overthrow. There you go. The weird the word here, overthrow, means he he uh he th he threw threw them down. OK, he threw them down. He strewed them down to he overthrown them. He destroyed them. He killed them. OK, and then he goes on. He goes. Now, these things were our example to the intent that we should not lust after evil things. OK, and the, the word here, lust does not mean. Uh, OK, here is to exist. OK, by implication to crave. OK, to go after these things that we should not go after. 
We should have no part of these evil things, as they also lusted, neither by you be adulterers as some of them, as were in the people sat and ate and drank, and they rose up, neither let us commit fornication, neither let us tempt Christ as some of them tempted, neither murmur. Now all things happened to them as an example, and they were written for our admon admonition, okay, to the ends of the world to come. Okay, let me go on. He says, wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Okay, and then he goes, verse 16, the, he goes, I'm sorry, I speak as to, to, men, to wise men, judge you what I say. Now I want you to understand, this is all set up. This is a warning to Christians. Warning, okay? Warning, warning, Will Robinson, danger, danger, okay? This is a warning. He says, the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? And the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold, Israel after flesh are not they which are of the sacrifice partakers of the altar. What say I then, that an idol is anything? Or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? He's saying, look, he goes, look, we've all partake. We sit and we drink from the cup of the Lord. It's the communion. It's the blessing. Why are we dealing with idols? Is an idol anything? Is meat offered in sacrifice to an idol anything? It's nothing. Okay, but I say that the things which a Gentile sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. Okay, the ha Halloween is to devils. Gentiles, these unbelievers, infidels, they worship and they celebrate devils. Okay, and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. I don't want you to be partakers of the things of the darkness of this world, of holidays of the world. Okay, that celebrate darkness have nothing to do with them. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. Okay, you can't. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than them? All things are lawful, but not all things edify. All things are lawful for me, but not all things edify not or expedient. Okay, the word expedient here means, uh, let me see here, sorry. Uh, to bear together or, or uh, uh, advantage. Not everything is good for me. Okay, they may be lawful. Oh, I can go out and get candy. Okay, that's, okay. I can dress up. Okay, but it's not to your advantage to do all these things. These things are lawful. Well, I'm not going to go down. I'm not under the law. I'm under grace. Okay, but they're not edifying. They're not building you up. They're not building other people up by you going to celebrate Halloween. Okay, let no man seek his own, but every man and others. All right, so don't only just think about yourself, but I want candy. Go buy yourself candy. My kids want candy. Go buy them candy. But my kids want to get dressed up. Okay, do that in your own house. Why October 31st? Why not your own day, your own thing? Let go have a little, little costume party. It's not going to be sin. But on October 31st, to go celebrate Halloween, to go and do that, that's a sin. This is you're celebrating a, a holiday that exalts evil. He goes, whatsoever is sold in shambles, that eat. Okay? This means the marketplace, a butcher stall. If you go to a butcher, eat. He says, if you go to eat, if you're going to go eat meat, eat it. There's nothing wrong with eating meat. Ask no questions for conscience sake. Just eat the meat. Ooh, great. No problem. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. If any of them believe not, bid you to feast, and you be disposed. Go. Whatever is set before you, ask no questions for your conscience' sake. In other words, if if you have if someone comes and invites you over to dinner and you're sitting down, eat. And there's nothing wrong with eating. There's nothing like again. There's nothing wrong with getting candy. There's nothing wrong with giving candy. There's nothing wrong with getting dressed up. There's nothing wrong. With saying trick or treat, there's nothing wrong. But when you put it all together, it becomes a problem. That's why Paul, so Paul says, but if any man say to you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, don't eat for his sake that you showed it and for conscious sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Conscious, I say, not my own. Okay, it's not going to hurt me. I am eat the meat. <sighs> the idol's nothing. Meets nothing, okay? It's not going to, him saying or them saying that this is offered to idols, it doesn't change 
that it's the meat. The meat is the meat. It's always it's going to be the meat. But the problem is it's not about your conscience, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? So again, people seeing you and they're watching you and you're getting dressed up and you're walking around with your family. Oh, trick or treat, trick or treat. They're going to they're gonna look at you. You got a problem. You you decorating your house and haunted house and goblins and, and jack-o'-lanterns and and haunted and hall happy Halloween. What's that for? For if by if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of? That which I give thanks. Whether therefore you eat or drink, or whether you, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Okay? Don't whatever you do, don't don't do it. Do it for the glory of God. Don't if you're eating and, and, and you're celebrating Halloween, it's not for God's glory. Give no offense, neither to the Jews nor to Gentiles, nor to the church of God. All right? In other words, don't be offensive. Don't be, don't offend God's church, God's body. Don't offend this. Okay? Don't, don't be an offense to these things. All right? Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Amen. So. The scripture makes it very, very clear. Look, a, a music note is not a sin. Words are not a sin. Music, words to music is not a sin. But if you play certain music and you put on certain words to that music, it becomes a sin. Do you understand the whole point of this? The whole point of what the Apostle Paul is saying is we are to abstain from any appearance of evil. Halloween is a holiday that celebrates evil. It celebrates witchcraft, Satanism, etc. And for we, for us as Christians to celebrate that holiday, what message are we given to the world? Oh, it's just fun. It's just this. It's okay. But it's not. Because they don't celebrate. Not everyone has the same knowledge as you have. When when people drive by and they see a church saying, we're celebrating Halloween, come on over, trunk and tree. What is that all about? How can a Christian, how can Christians who worship God, who are children of the light, not of darkness, who are told to rebuke and remove yourself, do not have anything to do and have any fellowship with darkness or the world or with devils, Folks, you read it right there in the Word of God. How can Christians who are told don't do that have a trunk of treat at their church or to have a fall festival or a fall carnival or, or, or to say this is just something that we're going to do for the kids, for the kids, for the babies? That's not how it works. Okay, so we need to be pleasing to God. I challenge you. If you have any questions, ask me. But I want you to, if there's anything I want you to leave from this is understand this. Dressing up is not the sin. Getting candy is not the sin. Giving candy is not the sin. Okay? The sin is October 31st, the day people celebrate. Now, if you dress up any other day, people think you're weird. If you go around knocking on people's doors on November 5th or October 15th saying trick or treat, people are going to think you're weird. Okay, so so that's out of the question. October 31st, though, that's a problem. Celebrating a holiday called Halloween. All some people say, well, that's a used to be a Christian holiday, all Hallows Eve. That's not true. Okay. The Celts, the Celts celebrated this this Hallows Eve, all Hallows Eve or Halloween. The Catholic Church just tried to Christianize it. Okay, but they didn't do a great job with that. They didn't do any good with that. They did that with Christmas and 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 uh, Resurrection Sunday, Easter, what we call Easter, we call Resurrection Sunday. They did a great job with that because on those days is different. Some people go, well, you're celebrating Christmas and Easter, and those are pagan holidays. First of all, pagans do not celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. 
and pagans and heathens do not celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay, they don't. On Halloween, what is what's being celebrated? Okay, Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ. Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Even though he wasn't born on there and he wasn't raised maybe on that day, it doesn't matter. The point is we celebrate the birth and the resurrection. On Halloween, what celebrate? Darkness, wicked, evil. It's a devil holiday. Have no part of it. Make a stance. Make a statement. Just like the Apostle Paul says, we make a statement when we say, no thanks, I don't want it. He says, if someone asks you, and says, hey, we're going to give this to, we offered this meat to, sec, to the idol. Don't eat it. Why? For your conscience? No, not for your, it's not about you. It's about people around you. What is your neighbors thinking? You're like, I don't celebrate Halloween. Well, why not? I'm a Christian. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I don't celebrate a, a holiday that celebrates darkness. Oh, it's not darkness. It's fun. Go into this spirit. What do you call it? Halloween store. Go to any Halloween store. Go to your nearest Costco. Go to your nearest Home Depot. Tell me that holiday is does not celebrate darkness and witchcraft and death and and evil. Okay, don't don't give me don't give me that. This okay. This this is idle. This is fellowship with darkness. Have nothing to do with it. Make a stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless.